Well, the man charged with seriously hurting a Ferguson police officer during a protest is due in court later this morning. Well, let's check in with Fox News. Chris Renier. Chris is in Clayton this morning looking at this uh, hearing, which is going to be closely watched. Yeah, indeed, John. Good morning to you. Good morning to you as well. We are just across the street from the St. Louis County Courthouse here in Clayton. This is where a pre-town trial conference is set for 9 a.m. this morning in the case against 28-year-old Eliza Gant of East St. Louis. The Ferguson police officer who Gant is accused of assaulting Travis Brown remains hospitalized this morning dealing with this serious brain injury as a result of what happened in this case. Ferguson police releasing video of this incident which took place back in August. It all unfolded during protests outside of the Ferguson PD marking the 10th anniversary of the Michael Brown shooting. Police, including Officer Brown, moved in to make arrests after protesters tried to knock over the fence outside of the police department there. Authorities say in the video, Gant runs into Officer Brown, knocking Brown to the ground. Brown was trying to stop Gant from running away from the scene as officers moved in. Gant was taken into custody, but Brown fell backwards, hitting his head hard on the ground, leading to that critical brain injury. In the wake of the incident, Ferguson Police Chief Troy Doyle held an emotional news conference about what happened, supporting Officer Brown and condemning Gant's alleged actions. Gant is behind bars this morning at the Justice Center here in Clayton. He is facing a dozen charges, including first-degree assault involving serious physical injury to a special victim. During this morning's hearing, we expect that Gant's attorney may ask for a future bond reduction hearing for Gant. Gant is currently being held on a $500,000 cash-only bond. This morning's hearing is in Division 13 here in front of Judge Bruce Hilton. We're told Gant may be there in person. We will see what unfolds in court. For now, live in Clayton, Chris Brunier, Fox News.